Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. And I want to thank you and the media especially for joining us today. I want to acknowledge our Sedgwick County Commissioners, uh, Wichita City Council, and other elected officials. I know I saw Pete Meitzner in the room. Uh, Jim Howell is in the room with us. Uh, also, uh, Sheriff Easter, appreciate him being here today. Uh, Mayor Jeff Longwell is with us today, uh, along with uh, dignitaries from the Wichita Fire Department, uh, ComCare. We're actually here today uh, to share more details about a very innovative pilot program designed to better service the people in our community, including those who are experiencing mental health issues. The problem is called Integrated Care Team, or ICT-1. It's the latest example of county and city officials working together. There's a new spirit of cooperation between the county and the city. We are removing walls and building bridges across Central Street to better serve our residents. The ICT pilot program will focus on a new way to provide services in our community. Its focus on responding to low acuity, acuity calls where more than public safety resources may be needed and we may find ways to save resources. ICT-1 features outstanding public safety and emergency response departments and the divisions include the Wichita Fire Department, Sedgwick County Fire District Number 1, the Wichita Police Department, Sedgwick County Sheriff's Office, Sedgwick County Emergency Medical Service, Emergency Communications, and ComCare of Sedgwick County. County Commissioners approved the MOU for the pilot program just this morning at our board meeting. Our partners on the City Council approved the MOU last Tuesday. At this time, I'm going to invite uh, Mayor Longwell to say a few words. Thank, thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Chairman Dennis. Well, thank you. And, um, and then I get to introduce at least one person. I did see Commissioner Lacey Cruz walk into the room, so great to see you here, too. And um, this truly is what collaboration looks like as you look around the room. And, and so I am truly pleased to be here with all of my fellow electeds and, and the media and others around here. This is an exciting pilot program that uh, will demonstrate our continued partnership with the county. So I appreciate our partnership with the county in pursuing innovative ways to improve our community. Uh, just yesterday, we held a news conference that talked about collaborative ways of how we're going to fight violent crime in this community with uh, new resources from the Department of Justice that's going to make a difference for Wichita and Sedgwick County. But improving mental health services is certainly an essential piece of achieving a greater public safety. And the cutting edge of this ICT-1, the Integrated Care Team 1 program, will help us in these shared community goals. These fine public safety professionals are all teaming, teaming up to execute this pilot program for initially 90 days beginning July 30th and running through October 31st. They are charged with helping us determine if ICT-1, Integrated Care Team 1, can improve the effectiveness and efficiency of our first responders when they're helping those in our community, when they're often helping those that are the most vulnerable in our community. So ICT-1 units will feature a team of experts consisting again of a law enforcement officer, a qualified mental health professional, and a paramedic. So I wanna thank commissioner, uh, all of the commissioners certainly, and, and the chair David Dennis and Dr. Gallagher for all of your leadership. This truly is what collaboration looks like, folks. And so now I'm happy to uh, be able to introduce Dr. Gallagher, and he's going to share some more information. Thank you. Good afternoon. My name is John Gallagher. I'm the EMS System Medical Director for the City of Wichita and Sedgwick County. Uh, very exciting to be able to provide oversight for this new and innovative project. First and foremost, I would like to thank the elected officials from both sides of the street for allowing us to do this uh, by facilitating us through the MOU, which was approved last week by the city and then this morning by the county. To speak a little bit towards how this program will work, we've taken a multidisciplinary team and are in the process of making them ready to operate nearly independently to address the needs of patients who are not traditionally uh, met by the normal 911 services. For 
years and even decades, we have been excellent at providing emergency 911 care through our traditional response programs. But unfortunately, we've started to see subgroups of the population that have needs that aren't met by this normal response program. So being able to put forward innovative programs like this to start working on it really has great potential to serve the community. So uh, <clears throat> while we are looking forward to being able to bring you stories and data, uh, we believe that we may be able to reduce the utilization of some of our other services and make them available for more traditional emergencies. We don't know how this will plan out. This is the nature of innovation. Some of it will work. Some of it likely will need to be refined. This is the nature of a pilot program. But again, having the support from our elected officials to do innovations, to go out and to try new things, knowing that it won't be perfect is exactly what we need to serve the community. So I'm sure you'll have lots of questions on this. Uh, uh, Chairman Dennis has a couple closing uh, remarks and then we'll do just that. Thank you. <clears throat> First of all, I want to thank each and every one of you for being here, all of the electeds that are making this happen, uh, especially the folks that are involved in the integrated care team day in, day out. And before we open it up for questions, I'd like to remind the media that they can see firsthand what ICT-1 does by saying, signing up for a ride-along on this Friday. And as a matter of fact, I've already asked to sign up for a ride-along myself, so we're looking forward to having the, the media uh, do the same thing. Uh, sessions are happening all day Friday. They will provide an eye-opening experience about mental health and other needs that are happening in our community. Now at this time I'd like to uh, invite Dr. Gallagher and uh, Mayor Longwell and the Sheriff uh, and Comcare if they'd like to come up if there are any questions for any one of us. Thank you very much for being here. Let's let the Sheriff answer all the tough questions. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we do have some folks from our fire department that are here. And if we could have uh, Chief Williams and uh, Chief Beavis. Yeah. I've been cold. So, questions? No questions? And we do have the vehicle out front. Can you talk about the need for these mental health um, collaborations, especially with the growing number of mental health calls. Are you guys still experiencing those and is this a response to that? Absolutely. And, uh, the sheriff uh, has been working very diligently on some of these issues with uh, behavioral health. Would you like to address that? <coughs> Uh, traditionally, uh, the response to the mental health calls involves a law enforcement officer being dispatched to make sure that it's a, a safety issue, fire department, EMS being dispatched, and then it involves law enforcement if we have to um, take custody of that individual because they're a threat to themselves or others, and then we have to involve Com Care and we have to involve uh, Via Christi. The reason I was sold on this uh, project immediately uh, when it was introduced uh, by Dr. Gallagher and his staff, by placing uh, a qualified EMT, a law enforcement officer, and a social worker from ComCare, you have it all there at the same time. Uh, so the EMT, if there's any medical issues, uh, can make sure that they're cleared on any medical issues because if they're not, we have to take them to St. Francis before or to Via Christi uh, before we can take them to ComCare. So it, it, takes away that one part of the system. The other thing is, is having the social worker or the calm care worker out in the field uh, absolutely makes that connection right then and there. And hopefully a plan can be put in place where they're not brought to jail, they're not taken somewhere else, and they're left in their home with a plan in place uh, so that we can move on to the next issue. Uh, so those are the things that I think are most important because we are seeing, to answer your original question, uh, mental health and, and the methamphetamine problem here is driving over 70% of our calls in law enforcement, I'm sure, with uh, EMS and those type of things too. So uh, this is a, a very innovative idea uh, that I think will work. Maybe we'll have to be refined a little bit uh, to fit our needs, uh, but very excited about it coming online. And so I appreciate everything that uh, the elected officials did to make it happen. This is a 90-day pilot program. So um, what are the metrics that are going to be used to judge the effectiveness of this program? Yeah. Thank you. So the question is what metrics will we be looking at? 
And we're looking at a uh, collection of things. Uh, one is we need to be able to track how many patients that we're able to encounter through this program. Uh, one of the challenges in working with this is pulling the patients out of the normal 911 system to identify which calls this team will be able to intervene on. Fortunately, we've handpicked some experts to participate in this, and we believe that they'll be able to do that in a real-time fashion. After we've made contact with the uh, citizens, we need to be able to figure out what their needs are, but also speculate as to how they would have been treated had the program not been in place. So again, it's gonna be a bit of measuring what we're doing and then speculating towards what would have been done. And the comparison between those two will be our best measurement of impact. Follow up on that question, I guess, would be kind of the cost of this thing. What is the cost and how do you pull people out of rotation? Will you hire more people? Or your thoughts there? So currently, that's the generosity of all of the participating agencies. Uh, this is being supported through existing budgets um, the different departments are bringing forward partial FTEs, equipment, vehicles, radios, supervision, oversight, all of the components necessary to run the pilot. Um, but to your question downstream, if this is something to be continued, a detailed cost analysis will need to be performed and funding uh, ascertained. How about getting those calls kind of sorted out? Walk me through the process. Do we have a plan of how that's going to work yet? Do we have people that have done this before to know, hey, let's send the team to this call, or are we in a, on a learning curve here? Uh, well, we're definitely on a learning curve, but the two primary methods are going to be calls that are already originating through the ComCare referral system and also the expertise of the team on the street being able to listen to the radios in a real-time fashion and pattern match that that encounter is likely to be intervened by this team. We've not placed this into a structured algorithm or asked the dispatchers to do it. It's a very human-driven process. I'll add one more thing to that, and um, I think everybody recognizes over the last several months we have improved the way that we get information uh, into the system and disseminate it out. And so we've been working on that now for quite some time with 911 dispatchers. Chairman, anything else? No, we'd like to invite you to see our vehicle. It's sitting out front. It's courtesy of Wichita Fire Department, part of our partnership. Uh, also, is our Kate, are you the one that's signing people up? Everyone know Kate uh, in the back? Uh, if you want to go on a ride along on Friday, check Kate out. Thank you all very much for being here today. Yeah, th thank you very much. And again, thank you to everyone that's making this happen. Um, it's, it's going to make for a safer community and getting the services that people need quicker.